I am Kitty's sister. I am the niece of Jose Menendez. I'm Kitty Menendez's nephew. They spoke out for the Menendez brothers. Now Eric is speaking out about them through his wife's TikTok. Tammy Menendez posted family photos and this message. Eric feels deeply grateful and profoundly humbled by the overwhelming outpouring of love and support from his family. And they have become better men despite everything that they've been through. With the understanding we now have about abuse and PTSD, there is no doubt in my mind that their sentencing would have been very different. A lot has changed in our perspective in 35 years, but at the same time, there has been a real glimmer of hope, the first one really in decades. Their fight for Lyle and Eric's freedom after spending 34 years behind bars for the murder of their parents is now a new Impact Nightline special, hosted by ABC News correspondent Juju Chang. What um, is the sentiment that the family's expressing? Are they hopeful? They are cautiously optimistic. I spoke to a cousin who talked to Lyle just the day before, and she said they're really trying to temper their hope because behind bars, hope is both necessary and painful. The brother's attorney, Mark Garagos, is determined to make their family's dreams come true within weeks. My, my hope is, is to have them over for Thanksgiving dinner. At Garagos said he yeah. hopes they come home for Thanksgiving. And I want that so badly. While Kitty's sister Joan Vandermolen has spearheaded the movement to free the brothers, her own brother Milton is dead set against that. His attorney, Kathy Caddy, explains why he wants his nephews to die in prison. So the motive for both murders was greed when they learned that they were going to be taken out of the will. During the brothers' second trial, their shocking claims of ongoing sexual abuse by their father were not allowed into testimony. So we stuck true to the, the instruction. I listened to the evidence. I came in with an open mind. 34 years later, juror number 11, Andrew Wolfberg, is still defending the jury's decision. Lyle and Eric Menendez have been found guilty of murdering their parents. Was there sexual abuse? That wasn't a question. But what we all agreed on was that beyond a reasonable doubt, the defendants committed murder. When you watched their testimony, what went through your mind? My body got all shaky. My stomach was all nervous and my eyes filled with tears. One of the brother's most surprising supporters, Rosie O'Donnell, her passionate advocacy for the brothers is featured in the Impact Nightline special, Menendez Brothers, Monsters or Victims, streaming now on Hulu. How did Rosie get involved? She is a survivor herself of sexual abuse. And I knew they had lived through it. I knew it. You cannot fake it. It's a coat of shame no one wants to wear. When they walk out into free air, what will that moment be like? You know, I get emotional thinking about it. It'll be like a movie, honest to God. It'll be like a movie, and they'll walk into the loving arms of all of their family who have been waiting for nearly four decades for these boys to be reunited where they belong and where they are loved and believed.